Hello and welcome to Let's Play Danganronpa Hope's Academy and Despair's Students. Now, if you're wondering who I am, I'm 113 Coyote. I'm a uh, upcoming Let's Player, and by upcoming Let's Player, I mean this is my very first Let's Play, so go easy on me. No, don't go easy. I can give me as much criticism as I can. Um, I'm recording with Fraps. I'm going to answer these questions right now and get them out of the way. I'm recording with Fraps. I have a Logitech microphone that I'm using, which, as you can probably tell by now, sounds not quite so good. But it's what I have and it's what I'm trying to make do with. Hopefully I can get a better microphone in the future, and that will be what I will use then and there. But right now this is what I kind of have to deal with. Anyways, welcome to the Let's Play. This game is a... Think of it as if it's a mix between Phoenix Wright and Battle Royale. It's a murder mystery game. Basically centered around investigating the murders, finding clues, and using them later on in debate and game. You'll see more of that later, and we'll reach that point of the story later. This is also more of... It's kind of more of a visual novel, in a sense, because it's more of a book rather than a game. Like, there are game elements to it, but it's... It has a really fleshed out story, and you'll see that yourself. I've already gone through and read an entire Let's Play of this game, so I know essentially the like how everything turns out. But um, for those of you who don't, here is my first word of advice. Don't Google image any of the characters. You will be spoiled right away. Trust me. And with that out of the way, let's get this game under the road. You can only really change the volume and stuff in the options, there's not much to do there. Um, it asks you if you want to load the save data from the demo. I haven't played the demo, so I don't have the save data. So that'll be a no. Here you can choose the difficulty. This is for what I was referring to earlier, which were those debates. You'll see more of those later, and there will be, there will be an entire tutorial explaining most of that. So once we reach that point, you know, I'll have the game do the explaining for me. We're gonna go with gentle because that's essentially normal mode. There's our title screen. I don't know if I should read what the characters are saying or if I should stick to commentating on what's on the screen itself. So I'll try out both of these, first in this video I'm going to read out all the dialogue that happens, maybe make a comment here and there, and in the next video I will do it the other way, in whichever one you like more, whether you like hearing my annoying voice or if you like hearing it every now and then, just let me know in the comments. The enormous academy towered over the city's central upper class residential district. It was like the whole world revolved around that place. Kibo Gamine Private Academy. This federally accredited, super privileged academy gathers students of the highest caliber in all fields, so it can groom them to be the best of the best. Graduating is said to guarantee a life of success. And Kibo Gamine Academy has been producing top-tier prospects in every discipline for hundreds of years. Also, apologies if I'm not pronouncing that right. I don't know how to speak Japanese uh, as much as I would like to. So, I'm probably going to be fuddling around with the words in here. Though, uh, I'm sure I can get many corrections later on. Fostering students in whom the country can place their hope. It is aptly referred to as Hope's Academy. There are two qualifications one must meet to enroll. One, you must currently be enrolled in high school. Two, you must excel in all subjects. There is no application process. All new students are scouted by the academy. And yet, there I was. 
standing before the gates to an academy as superbly, supremely amazing as that. Our fabled protagonist. I am, just as I appear to be, a helplessly ordinary average high school student. And not a whole lot different on the inside either. I'm not particularly skilled at anything, nor am I all that eccentric or really extraordinary at all. I don't have any special tastes or interests. I'm not a mutant, and I don't possess a stand. If you want to know my favorite actor, my favorite comic, my favorite band, or my favorite movie, just look at the charts, and there you go. Whatever is number one, that's more than likely it. Ordinary to an almost cliché degree. The most average of the average. And that's me. Starting things off so by the books with an introduction is a great example of that. Well, if I had to pick something, my one redeeming quality would be that I'm a little more optimistic than most, I guess. And there I was, normal everyday me, standing in front of Kibogamine Academy, a far cry from what you'd call an ordinary school. I've really come to an amazing place. I'm not getting in over my head, am I? I felt like a very small fish lost in a very, very large ocean. Though I doubt anyone could blame me. Now, just so I don't sound like I'm blowing things out of proportion, I guess I should probably catch you up on the preparations I did last night. The students selected to attend Kibogami Mei Academy really are super skilled in all subjects. And in fact, they're such a hot topic, they have a dedicated thread on a certain online message board. Probably 3 chain or something like that. Half in the name of preparation and half morbid curiosity, I poked around in that thread for a bit. Every single person mentioned was super duper high school material. Leaps and bounds above average. Take the super duper high school idol, for example. She enjoys fame nationwide as the lead vocalist in the highly popular group of girl group. And then there's the super duper high school all-star. But just a note about this whole super duper high school business. In the translation I read, it was read as super high school level. So there may be complaints about the translation. This was done by a group called Project Setibo. Um, you can look them up, they have the translation online and all that, and you can figure out how to play the game yourself. But, uh, just so you know, it's a li little different. I mean, some people like it, some people can deal with it, some people don't like it. I personally prefer the old way, but I don't mind it. Just my own comment there. He, paid, he played both ace pitcher and clean up hitter on his team, leading them to victory in the championships. They also changed, like, the actual titles of each of these people, so... While this might be all-star in the original translation, was baseball player. As an athlete, he's at the top of the top tier, already being scouted for the pro leagues. Next is the Super Duper High School Supermodel. With her photos lining all the fashion magazines, She's a role model for teenage girls everywhere. To top it off, there's even a super duper high school outlaw biker. Gang leader, basically. Frighteningly, frighteningly, he rules Japan's largest biker gang. He's feared and revered by delinquents nationwide. And after that, there's the super duper high school fighter, scion, swimmer, otaku, not quite sure what Cyan can refer to. I know what Otaku is referring to, and I'll talk about that later. A super duper high school programmer, high roller, prefect, shaman, etc, etc. Shaman is a little bit off, it's more about fortune telling. Uh, I'm not quite sure what prefect or high roller refers to either, I'll explain that once we see the characters. With peers as distinguished and elite as them, I can't help but feel small and powerless. Let's put it another way, I feel like a calico who accidentally stumbled into a pride of lions. However, 
there was something that struck me as odd. There were a couple of students who, no matter how much I searched, I couldn't find any information on. While much to my relief, my own talent myself was among the encounters. I wasn't sure what to make of the other missing men. Could it mean I'm not the only incoming student with the, the laundry list of accomplishments? Thinking there might be even the slightest chance I'm not alone in my uselessness is pitifully reassuring. Anyway, that aside, the real question is, how did a normal kid like me end up being selected to join the ranks of the super duper high schoolers? To find your answer, you need but glance at my admissions notes. We at Kibogami Nei Academy have selected by lottery a single cadet candidate from a school of average students. Your name was chosen, and so we invite you to join us this year as the Super Duper High School Luxton. Uh, this roughly should translate out to be Super High School level good luck. As you can see, it was mere luck, nothing more. I think what they they did with the translation is try to like make the titles sound more like titles, because Super High School level good luck doesn't necessarily really sound like a title, it just sounds like a given town. Whereas they're supposed to be titles of the towns. Or at least that's what I think. In all honesty, I probably should have declined. But there was no way I could. Knowing that graduation all but guarantees success in life. However, standing there, with the school before my very eyes, I feared I may be out of my league after all. Not that I can just loiter in front of the gate forever, either. Humbling to myself, I dropped my gaze to the admission notice in my hand. New students meet in the entrance hall at 8 a.m. There's still some time before we're scheduled to meet up, but I guess I should get going. Yeah. Here it goes! After mustering together far more resolve than should be necessary for one's first day of classes, I headed toward the action hall. Nice footstep sound. Well, here I am. Doesn't look like anyone else is here, though. I looked up at the entrance hall's gorgeous clock. 7.10, it said. The meeting's at 8, at 8. Which means I've still got 15 minutes. Of course, no one else is here. I was so nervous I came here too early. There's still plenty of time, and I don't really feel like just standing here until then. Maybe I could wander the halls a bit. It might help, help me loosen up a bit. I'm technically a student here now, so there shouldn't be a problem. I hope. All I'm doing is killing it a little time. Having convinced myself it wasn't such a big deal, I took my first step into Kibogamine Academy. That first step, overflowing with hope for the start of a new life here, or that's how it was supposed to be. Until finally, it all blended together, melting like cotton candy. Swirling and twirling and whirling and curling into a thick, syrupy, vicious pulp. And the next second, darkness. Well, that's quite the opening. That was the beginning, and the end of my everyday life. I should have realized it then. I wasn't there because I was the super duper high school luxster, but the super duper high school unluxster. That just sounds odd. Welcome to Despair Academy, the prologue. Save data? Of course. Where am I? 
I found myself lying face down on a hard desk. I felt like I'd been run over by a train. While I have been known to doze off in the middle of a particularly boring lecture, I couldn't figure out why I was sleeping on that desk. And in an unfamiliar classroom at that. What's going on? Woo. Welcome to Kibogami Nei Academy. I would like to start things off with a simple explanation of the controls. Alright, here we go. I uh, move the crosshair using the analog pad. Uh, when a crosshair reacts to something, press the X button to examine it. You can use the D-pad, L button, R button to change your field of view. Why don't you try looking around the room? Okay, so... Control stick basically moves the cursor. And... This is our D-pad moving here. What's this say? There's a trail of drool running down the desk that was just collapsed over. I gotta wake that up later. And on top of that, that desk. Orientation info. What a cheap looking pamphlet. Why is it handwritten? The new semester has begun. Wait, scratch that. From here, this academy becomes a whole new world for you guys. What is this? Someone's idea of a prank? That's a bit odd. examine these, what I think are windows. What the heck? This is where you'd expect to see windows in a normal classroom, but here, what appears to be iron plates have been rigged to the walls. To check, I gave one a light knock. Yep, iron plates alright. Incredibly thick ones, no less. But rather than analyzing what they are, I, shouldn't I be asking why they're here? Can't really examine the lights, uh can't examine that either. Can we examine this? Yes we can. This looks like a security camera. Well that's disturbing. The world's a dangerous place. Probably installed these to prevent break-ins. Yeah, maybe they did, maybe they did. Uh examine the clock? Oh yes we can. What's the clock say? The clock says 8 o'clock, and when did that happen? I came through the entrance hall at around 7 cents, which means I've been in here for almost an hour. Hmm. From the looks of things, it's probably safe to assume that someone found me in the entrance hall where I was standing, nervous and disoriented, and helped me to this classroom. Which means I'm still inside Kibo Gamine Academy. But if that's true... Something's not right. Something's definitely not right here. With those iron plates on the windows, it, it's like I've been tossed into a dungeon. I don't get it. What the heck is going on here? Anyway, I guess I should go back and check out the entrance hall again. It's past when we were supposed to meet up. Everyone else is probably already there. I mean, press the circle button to exit the room. Still, I want to check to see if there's anything we can uh, investigate. There's a TV here. It's hardly a surprise seeing a TV in a classroom, and a federally accredited academy, but there's something very unsettling about it. I'm not really getting the same feeling you're getting off of that, Makoto. Uh, we can examine the doors. I can't really examine anything else, so we might as well examine the doors. Leave the room? Yes. Alright, so that's just what examining the doors does. Even the hallways kind of creep me out. And with that, I think we've ran a little over the recording time, so I'm going to stop it here. Uh, join me next time on Let's Play Danganronpa. Hope's Academy and Despair's Student.